Happy Thanksgiving to everyone across the world who celebrate. I am Senjo Chan. This will the video that you're about to see now will be interesting. Why? Well, because um, this video was supposed to be put on YouTube as of Thanksgiving Day, but some stuff came around. My family decided to come over, and I totally just based it. Um, and then earlier this week after Thanksgiving, my system crashed and I lost everything, so I had to rebuild it from the ground up. Yeah, it's been kind of hard. But in any case, you're not here for that. You're here to watch some anime and my thoughts on said anime. With the Sivir now coming closer and closer, I need to now pick something more unique. I need to do something. And I know that my hiatus has yet to be addressed for earlier this year. That will be coming up soon as well, along with another segment. But for now, that's later. So please sit back, enjoy, and watch the video. Warning. The material shown in this video is owned by the respective companies. Senjo Chan and Senjo Anime do not own any of the material used in this video and is under the fair use laws. Please enjoy the video. If you saw the video I made a couple weeks ago, then you know how I feel about a god awful anime that's not going known as Osama Gamu. Because of that video and what I saw in that anime, I had to create a segment on my show or my channel. Luckily, this is not that video. Hey! Hey guys! Welcome to Sinjo Anime. I am your host, Sinjo Chan, and today I have a special treat for you guys. Today I'll be discussing not one, but two animes that are ongoing. This is going to be a lot of fun for me because they're not as bad as King's Game. Describe Black Clover is simply a Boku no Hero wannabe. Boku no Hero Academy wannabe, at least in the beginning. Because it's set in a world of magic where our main character cannot use magic. We find out very early on that everyone needs a grimoire in order to hand harness their magic and do whatever they want to. And the goal is to be the king of the wizards, I believe it's called. Well, in the beginning, Asta and his brother, Yuno, are orphans. And as a young and young kids, they make a pact to one day become the king. This makes them all time rivals. You carry up to the, where they are now, and they are on their way to become members of the guard squad group of armies that have nine different guards. Each guard has their own symbols and color. Let's start off with naming each and every one of them. And one is the Violet Orca. Right after that is the Green Mantis. May I go on to say cool looking tattoos and I want one. Next is the Azra Deer. Then right after that we have the Coral Peacock. Now Next is the Golden Dawn, and depending who you are, could depend on which one you'd rather be in. They, this, the second only to the Golden Dawn, suffer eagles and matter of popularity. And my personal favorite, the Blue. Ring. And then the last two we have is the Crimson Lions, and finally the Black Bulls. You know, goes into the Golden Dawns, and Asa goes into the Black Bulls. 
I would love to see what each one of these guys, how they all work together. But beyond that, let's just start off with Asta annoying voice. I wish they did something better with his voice. I wish they had done something worthy for his voice. If you like his screaming and whining and hollering, that's good, but it just wasn't good for me. I would love to see this show focus on Yuno more so than Asta. But I get that Asta is the main character, and you, for what it is, it's a decent show. I cannot recommend you buy it as soon as it is licensed. I would recommend that you stream it now and stream it when it does come out. It's worth watching. It's just not, in my opinion, worth buying, and that's mainly because of Asta. Should you watch it? Yes, you should. Should you buy it? I'm gonna say no, you shouldn't. But hey, if you wanna watch, if you wanna buy it, that's on you. So after you heard everything I had to say about the show, you know I have high, high, like really high expectations for Black Clover. <laughs> nothing. I repeat, nothing. I expect more highly than this anime. This anime started as an OVA. And I never watched the OVA. But if it's anything like the anime that I'm watching now, holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, forgive me if I'm going to mispronounce this. Maho Tsukikai no Yome. Or in English, as I'm more known of it as an ancient magnet sprite. Next we have in my one of the best, if not the best anime of the season, Ancient Magnus's Bride. Or Sukai no Yome. This follows a young girl named Chise who is bought from slavery as she attempts to become the apprentice of an ancient man ma uh man, Ilias. And his also attempt is to become, make her his bride. It starts out very clearly there's some type of conspiracy going on. And although the series isn't over yet, I feel like I can't wait. I'm always watching for the next episode. I'm constantly keeping track of this episode. I don't follow animes that are currently going almost ever. I normally just wait until they're out and then I watch them. From beginning to end and then get my opinion on such this anime was requested to me by more than five people and i had to watch it one thing that makes this anime so good is the casting they made the perfect choices for casting in my opinion the best one the voice actress for chase uh for chise her name is atumi tanizaki I apologize if I mispronounce her name. I'm working on it. Tanazaki and in many different animes such as Mayu from Death Parade. Emilia from Da 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 uh, Second Season. And then Minami from Silver Spoon. So this is a perfect actress. I think she played say so well. I can't wait to see her. And I didn't really recognize her voice at first until it hit me. Another one that's good to know is the voice actor for Ilias. I cannot pronounce the name correctly, so I'm going to just tell you who where he's from. He's from Thomas from Attack on Titan. Ugh. Um, Katoshi from IQ. He's also uh, known from Shiro from Assassination Classroom. This anime, as I stated before, Constantly watching for the newest episode. Constantly waiting to see where it goes. What it wants to do. I can't wait to see what the end of the conspiracy is. I can't wait to see where they're going to take it. And I'm always going to be able to give a full review. In fact, I plan on giving this an review. Come. And I finally... Uh, 
that I give Ancient Magnus' Bride recommendation to buy it when it comes out. I will again give it a full review once it comes out. That's the end of it for me. If you like what, if you like this video, hit that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and see if you want me to do anything else on this series as far as this series of anime. If you want to see me keep doing Should You Watch episodes, let me know in the comments. I read them all. I love to hear from you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little notification bell. That way if, you, if I get new videos out, you can see them. And hey, if you like what I do, you like the content I make, go ahead and donate to my Patreon as it helps the channel in a huge way get more equipment, get more resources, and I can just make better videos for you guys. In any case, that's the end of it for me. I am Sinjo Chan. This has been Sinjo Anime. And I'll see you guys later. Ciao. Hey, congratulations, guys. You made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it that big thumbs up right up there. And if you want to see more anime top 10s, anime theories, or anime vlogs of any type, please make sure you hit that subscribe button that's right down there. And remember guys, you are what makes this entire YouTube thing great. Thank you for watching. I am Senjo Anime's number one host, Senjo Chan. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later.